All right. Hello? Hello? I hear you. You are live on air. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not an Abdul. I'm a Christian. Okay. Uh, so I have a question about uh, Christianity because uh, I afraid that I want to convert my friend to Christian, but I afraid that they will ask me about this, my doubts, and maybe I cannot answer this question. So okay. about the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So how how to explain to them like they always ask me like if there is three like Father mm -hmm. Jesus and Holy Spirit mm -hmm. how is it one God like that? Well, a human being is one and three in the same time. He is a soul, he is a body, and he's a mind. So if a human being is a three and one, why God? If if a human can be so, can God be so? At the same time, if God is God then he can be three and the one at the same time. Like, if there is any one can explain how God is. If we ask the Muslims, is Allah, Shin, is different yeah, God? Of course they will ask. Uh, or it is still Allah. So Allah have a Shin, Allah have a face, Allah have a hand. Is it a soul or they were, those are parts? Or they are one God? If they are one God, will Allah, Shin, is his shin? He mentioned it. Allah have hands. Allah have a shin. Allah. That means he have a physical body. Okay. So is Allah only a physical body, or he have a spirit? The Muslim they say he is not a spirit. So how Allah can be God yet he have no spirit? They say to you, well, he is God. He can he can be God without being a spirit. So Muslims being hypocrite. God is called God because simply everything is possible for him. And if God cannot be three and one, that means he cannot be God because nothing is impossible for God. What is the rejection for how you can be three and one? It's about can you? Correct? The word can, right? Can. Yeah. But we cannot say, or we cannot say that God can and cannot, because always God can. Yeah. Do sure. do God always can, or he can, uh, there's options where he cannot. So either God always he can be whatever he wish, or God cannot be God then. So what the Muslim they are saying to you actually, that their God cannot be three and one. So the answer, the, answer the, the most simple answer you say to them, well, my God, because he's a true God, he can, because he have the power, he can be three and one. Your God, he cannot. He cannot be three and one, because he is limited, he cannot. If he say, no, he can, he said, okay, so what the problem then? <laughs> Yeah, oh, wow, you're very, you're very smart, bro. Like, same, oh. same time, my friend. Uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find this. The Messiah himself is a three and one. Yeah. How the Messiah is a three and one in the same time, if a three and one is, is impossible. So the Messiah, he is the word of Allah, according to Muhammad, which he throw it or he bestowed on uh, on Mary. And as you know, let us see. Uh, if you read here, chapter four, verse one seventy one, it says. Do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Uh, let us read together. It says here, O oh, people of the book, by the way, this is the same verse, is denied the Trinity. But look how stupid the one who made this verse. The same verse denied the Trinity is the same verse confirming the Trinity. How? Let us see. So it says here, O oh, people of the book, which means Christians and Jews, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah out but the, tr but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, between two brackets is no more, this does not exist, this is false translation, is a messenger of Allah. Okay, so he is a messenger. Who, who, what this messenger is a man, right? Yes. Okay, and he is his word. Yeah. And then he is a spirit proceeding from him. That is Jesus. He's what? 
He is a man. He is the word. He is the spirit of God. Spirit. It says not only spirit, no, spirit proceeding from God. Spirit proceeding from him. Him who? From Allah. Yeah. Only Jesus is a spirit proceeding from Allah. No one else. Muhammad is not. Abraham is not. Nobody. Yeah. Three and one. So if the Quran itself, the stupid Quran, trying to say don't say Trinity, but the same verse brought us Jesus as a three and one. What John chapter one says, in the beginning it was the word, right? Yes. That is what the Quran is saying here. Muhammad is trying to copy John one. The word become a man, a flesh. John one fourteen. Correct? Correct. That is the man. And well, when Jesus, the man, the word of God, he come to earth and he got baptized, the spirit of God said, this is my only begotten son. Yeah. Proceeding from him. So Jesus is the man, the word, and the spirit of God, three and one in the same time. So if Jesus can be that in the Quran, if the same verse say, say don't, don't say three. This is how stupid Muhammad is. The same verse says, say not a trinity, is the same verse confirm a form of a trinity. This is, not, this is not our trinity, by the way. We don't believe in such a trinity. We believe that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But here we are showing the Muslims how the Quran itself confirmed that the Messiah himself is the man, is the word, is a spirit from God. And if the Jesus is the word of God, that means he is eternal. And the Muslim believe that the word of God is not created. So Jesus is not created. Because word of God is not created. You see, it doesn't say God saying a story, he said he is his word. The Messiah himself, he is the word of God. And that word sent down to Mary. This is what John chapter one, verse uh, chapter one, verse number one and verse number 14 says, and the word became a flesh. The word came to Mary and Mary delivered the flesh. That is the word of God, the Messiah, the Christ. So the Quran is so stupid while it's denying the Trinity is giving us other explanation proving Islam to be false and stupid because if this is impossible for anyone to be three how Jesus become a three and one in the same time what Jesus was before he become a messenger he was the word which is in front of us right yeah okay so uh... I really understand that, and thank you, Mr. Prince. For and then for my second question, like right. when Jesus was crucified, he said that to the Father, uh, "Father, why did you abandon me?" Like I, I also watched the same Shimon. Mm. He explained this to a Muslim, but after watching it, I still cannot understand. Like he said, it, "It's it's completed," but. I still not really understand it. So, if you can, yeah, if you go, to... if you go to math, when he to math, Matthew, he said, uh, uh, you know, Eli, Eli, uh, uh, This is this is a prophecy from the Old Testament, prophesying that the Messiah is going to be hanged, is going to be crucified, is going to be tortured, and this is why he says it's complete. It's reference to Psalm twenty-two. So. You go in some, you will see he's saying exactly the same, same words. He's quoting, he's quoting the Old Testament. It's a prophecy about him. And that's why he said it's complete. Complete what? What he came for, what he's prepared for, what he knew is going to happen, that machine is complete. So he is quoting, he's reminding people that this is the, the some, you know, speaking about me, and I am the Messiah. Okay, okay, I understand it. Yeah. And last, last one, like, uh, uh, 
Bible mentioned that Jesus, like before he was captured, he was praying, right? In hmm. the garden. Yeah. I guess. You see the so, the prayer the, the prayer of Jesus, uh, like the Muslim they say, uh, uh, Jesus praying uh, uh, praying bowing down. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. No, okay. the, the the Jewish tradition when they pray they don't bow, they lay down in the ground. They lay down. They lay down and they open their hands. Oh. They don't they don't they pray like the Muslim. This is false, and this is why if you go right now. You see, like, I don't know if you see any uh, uh, monk, he wanna, like when he decides to become a monk, he go in the church and he sleep in the floor. It's like swimming. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not yeah. the Muslim prayer. The Muslim prayer yeah. is a copy of the Sabian. Same time, the Muslims are very funny. Uh, what is the objection there they told, say to you about that? If he is... Uh, uh, they say, huh? they say if Jesus pray like, Solat and also if Jesus is God, why did he pray to That's himself? a good question. So why Allah he pray? The Quran says Allah The Messiah when he he pray, he pray to the Father. When Allah he pray, he pray to who? The Son, he pray to the Father. Who is more? Who you know why what what the word father mean? That means the Messiah himself is from the Father, not the opposite. So it's very normal yeah. that the, the Son he prays the Father, and then the Messiah, if you go to John chapter uh, uh, 3, you will see that the Messiah says, Father, pray, you know, glorify me the same as the, uh, 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 the same I glorify you, before the whole world was to was exist. So the Messiah confirmed he was before the world, and the Messiah confirmed that the same he prays the Lord as the Father, the Lord, the Father, he prays the Son. It's not only him praising the Father, the Father he prays the Son. But in the Quran it says, Allah he prayed to whom? So in Christianity, if if the if, if the Messiah he pray, he pray to the Father. Allah he pray to whom? To his Father, okay. to his God. You see, I don't know, man. we will use their the logic. Yeah, we, we have to use their logic. If their logic is, the one who pray, he cannot be God. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. So, so Allah, uh, uh, Allah, he pray to whom? The Muslim, when they translate, they say, you salli, mean he pray, he, he blessing. That's false. Everybody knows salat mean pray. Allah, He pray on you, the Quran says. Allah, you salli alaykum. Chapter, as an example, chapter 33, verse number 43. The Muslim, they translate that, they say, it is He who sent the blessing on you, false. How we expose it? Look what the verse saying. It is He who pray on you, and as so as the angels. If Allah, He bless you, you do not need the angels. Angels, don't, angels cannot bless anyone. Neither me. You see, when I say bless you, I am just shorting the sentence saying, May God bless you. Blessing come from God only. Here you see that if the Muslim they say that Allah sending a blessing, then the angels are God too. Look what it says. Because it says, As do his angels. So, yeah, true. angels, according to Islam now, they can do as Allah can do. That means angels are gods. If there is any Muslim listening, I challenge you to call me and tell me how in the world you come with such a stupid translation which is making more, making the Quran more horrible because now we have two gods. The God you call him Allah, he sent the blessing. And the angels, they do the same as Allah. They send the blessing. Which one is the one whom we need to send the blessing? If the Muslims are monotheist, then they should believe that only one person can give a blessing. Angels cannot. In fact, the Quran confirmed that angels are a bunch of liars. So how they can bless anyone? So they cover a, a lie in the translation. It says, It is him who pray on you and his angels. 
And why be Allah pray for them? To take you out of darkness. But Allah do not need a prayer to take someone from darkness. <laughs> Allah he needs to pray. Yeah, I mean, not, what, and not only that, he pray to take you out of darkness. He's praying to who? It's a supplication. So if the Messiah making a prayer, well, he is a praying to the Father. Mm. What the Messiah said, let your will be done. Correct? Correct. Okay. So the Messiah, he knew that they are going to crucify him. And he is saying, okay, Father, I, it's not me who like to be in the cross, but let your will be done. And here you notice that the, the son is totally obedient to the father and he is totally in agreement with the father. He never say no. So the son praying to the father is very accepted, very normal. But Allah saying, he pray on you and so as the angels. And what is the purpose? To take you out of darkness. So what can take a Muslim out of darkness? Allah prayer. But a prayer, if you ask the Muslims, this is why they are asking you how Jesus can be God and he prayed to someone, right? Right. Prayer is supplication asking for something. So Allah is praying to who? That there is higher than Allah? This. And how Allah will send the blessing, how Allah he will send the blessing, so as the angels, yeah, if Allah, Allah is like the angel. If God is a way. if God is a blessed me, I, I'm blessed. That's it. Yeah. What angels? Angels cannot bless <laughs> anyone. Angels. The, uh, uh, there's no blessing except from God. <clears throat> so, yeah. and if God He blessed them, He blessed them when they are in darkness. This is this is it against the Quran. So they they lie in the translation. And they they come with the word the word salah suddenly salah everybody knows hey salah 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 mean pray who alladhi yusalli alaykum and this is the word yusalli and this is mentioned in the Quran in other places Allahu wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi Allah and the angels praying at the Prophet. Why Allah and the angels are praying in the Prophet? And they are praying to whom? <clears throat> Muslim can't answer. <clears throat> if you remember when uh, uh, David Wood was debating, uh, uh, what his name, uh, Mimi, Mimi Hijab, he said, this yeah. is why in the translation it says, pray for, not to. Oh, yeah, for. Okay, but that make it more stupid. Allah pray yeah. for or to who care? Allah pray for who? <laughs> When Allah he pray, that's mean he's praying to someone. Okay, he's praying to Muhammad. No problem. But Allah pray for Muhammad to who? Yeah, it's still the same. Like he want to counter David Wood, but it's still the same. It's not make sense. Allah pray. To it's who? stupid. He's trying to fix it. Who care if Allah pray for Muhammad? Allah don't pray on Muhammad. It's the same. The question is, when Allah he pray, he pray to who? You know, uh, uh, there is tons of verses in the Quran. Or like as an example here, Shahid Allah and La Ilaha Illahu, Wal Malaika. Okay, Allah He said Shahada <laughs> that there is no God but Allah and the angels. Look, what the heck? Why Allah saying Shahada? The... Chapter three, verse number thirteen. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, this is not the uh, that the verse I click in the hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, here. Shahid Allah and La Ilaha. Yeah, chapter 3, verse 18, actually. Yeah. Uh, there's no God. Allah, look, look at the first translation. They, they change it the way it is. But anyway, there is no God but He, that the witness of Allah. We change the translator. Allah bear witness that there is no God but He and the angels and men possessed of knowledge, upholding justice. What is that? How that can work? 
what the angels and the men upholding knowledge and justice who, who is the one is holding knowledge and doing justice is it Allah is it the angels is it the people who have knowledge who what is that what is this mix you don't understand but Allah he witnessed that he is God to who Allah converted to Islam now And then it says he is the Almighty, and you will notice here it's taken about. Obviously, Muhammad is making Quran, fabricating Quran, speaking about his God. This is not God speaking about himself. This is why it says, No God but He. Yeah. So, all what? those verses in the Quran proving to us that Muhammad is fabricating religion, and Allah Himself, He pray. But Muslim cannot explain to us, like chapter 33, verse number 56. Allah and the angels praying on Muhammad, not blessing Muhammad. And if they say blessing, that means the angels are gods too. Because only God can bless. bless. Same time, if Allah and the angels, they do prayer. So either way, if they come, they agree with us that this is what it's meant, it's a prayer. It is a bad thing. Why? Because here Allah and the angels are praying on Muhammad. And look what it says here. All believers do, do also bless him. That's false. Believers cannot bless anyone. Yeah. Believers can ask for a blessing. They cannot bless. And if Allah, he blessed Muhammad already, who need the believers? The believers, their job is to pray. You see how this is how they expose themselves with the false translation. What the verse says, Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima, sallu. So it says here, and you believers, Sallu alayhi, pray on him, and sallimu taslima, and salute him. Which is very funny and stupid. So Muhammad became the center of the universe. Allah, the angels, and the believers, all they are praying on Muhammad. He became the center. He's God. Is their God? Yeah. But all of this, like Muhammad is God. But all of this is a stupid because, as you see, suddenly Allah and angels and Muslims all can do blessing. It's in the front of you, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty-six. But this is cannot be in a religion they believe in monotheism, because God only He can bless somebody. Here, God, angels and human and this is based on their translation which is false what the verse saying Allah and his angels praying on Muhammad and then Allah he command the believers to pray for Muhammad in fact in Arabic it says Sallu alayhi, which means pray on Muhammad not for Muhammad it's messed up Muhammad he wanted to be the center of the universe and now he made his God worshiping him the angels worshiping him and the believers they are worshiping him and if the Muslim, they are saying, no, 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 they are not worshipping. They are praying for him. Pray for him to do what? To be what? To be saved? To be in heaven? Yeah, man, that's too... Muhammad, he need the prayer of Allah to be in heaven? Muhammad, he need the prayer of the Muslim to be in heaven? What does this mean? It is just a madman who worship himself he have an echo. He have he you know he 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 believe he wanted to be the 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 top. So now he command them, and show them that even God and His angels in heaven they are busy praying on me, and now you do so. Yeah. If there's any other question. Uh, one uh, two more. All right. Uh, the fourth one is. Like Jesus said about the the day of judgment, yeah. Uh, only only the Father knows, <laughs> all right. not even the Son and all of us, but just the Father. And He also mentioned not the Son. Like I confess there. Hmm. Yeah, you see uh, what uh, what the Messiah is talking about. When, it, when when I mentioned to you in the beginning, I said to you. The son is always obedient to the father, correct? Correct. Okay, what does that mean? Obedience. It means there's someone mm -hmm. have authority, right? 
Okay, the yes. Messiah, he says, everything I have is given to me from my father, correct? Correct. So the hour is the command of the father when it's going to be. The judge is going to be Jesus. So the father, he have a job. That's why mm -hmm. Jesus says, my father, he work and I work too. So he have his work. The father, he have a work. The son, he have different work. So the father is the one who decide when the day of judgment will be. And then who is going to be the judge? Jesus says, and he gave me the judge over the, to be the judge over the flesh. So what the Messiah is saying, this is the job of my father, not my job. And about knowing the hour, because simply the hour can change and nobody should know the hour. Why? Because the Lord, he don't want anyone to know the hour, so people will not. If the Messiah, he says to them, the hour is going to be, let's say, tomorrow, then everybody repent, everybody go to heaven. This is not how the judgment day will work. Judgment day happen when nobody is aware and God will come the same as a thief in the middle of the night. But doesn't doesn't mean he will come at night, but the same as an example yeah. about how nobody is going to be aware. When nobody yeah. expects that hour yeah. to happen, this is why that hour only the Father he knew, because we don't believe in the predestiny. If you remember the story of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, when, when, when he asked God, he says to him, if there is 70 people in this town are decent, you will destroy the town? He said, no. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Okay, so the judgment not, the judgment day is not God. Is one, yeah, so the judgment day in Christianity is not a preset date. Oh it's not. It's when the human being is corrupt totally. When there is no, not even 10 people in the whole world are decent. That's what he did to the Sodom and Gomorrah. If there is 10, are you going to destroy it? 10, just 10. No. So when there is no, which means the whole earth is corrupt. We did not reach that point. So when the earth is in total chaos and corruption, then God will come to the judgment day. And that is not a preset. So a human being can change that day. How? By, be, by repenting, by having more good people. So judgment day, it might be a million years from now. It might be 10 million from here. From, it might be tomorrow. It's the same as a box of apples. We throw the apples in garbage when all the apples are damaged, correct? Correct. But if the apples are still fine, why we are going to throw them in the hellfire? Yeah, true. So we... When, in the same time, when the, when the Muslims speak about the hour, how come they don't notice that the Messiah, he says, when this and this and this and this and this and this happen, I will come. Is that correct? In the same yeah. chapter. So when those things happen, if you go to Matthew chapter 24, when, when those things happen, I will come. So the Messiah, he is not ignorant about the hour. He is speaking about the announcement of the hour. It is not in my hand. It's not to me. The Father, he is the one who will announce it. But in the same time, if we read, we will find that the Messiah is speaking about what will happen step by step. Well, me. <laughs> same time, smart. same time before we finish about this. Yeah. If this is, okay, if this is what would not make Jesus God, will their God do not know the hour? If we go to the chapter of the moon as an example, in the moon chapter, it says, that is uh, when al -Qamar. The, the judgment day is near and the moon is split, but no moon is, no moon is split, it's a lie. Suddenly there is no judgment day happen. So do Allah knew the hour? <laughs> you don't. Mm -hmm. Chapter 54, verse number one. What kind of God? He claimed that the hour is, you see in Arabic it says, Iqtarabat. Iqtarabat is not just like soon. It's like, in, it's, it's, it's getting so close. And now the sign of the day of judgment already started. It's not just a close. It is the split of the moon. Why the moon is split? Because the judgment day is near. So why the moon is fixed back? 
<laughs> like if the moon is split is a sign of day judgment, then it should be split. That's it. Why Allah he fix it? Yeah. Nobody witnessed such a thing. The Muslim they claim in the hadith that the moon is split to the point that the mountain of Hara, the moon became two pieces far distance, like the mountain appear in the middle, and the moon become two pieces far from from the moon, from the, from the mountain. Which means, like in reality, this would be millions of miles. This is not just a crack. This is a total split. Even the Quran says in shock, which means split. So uh, here, we, here we go. Allah, he mentioned the hour, but you do not know the hour. We are a thousand four hundred year after Muhammad and yet nothing happened. Muhammad, he said in the hadith, Liushikna, the Messiah, he's almost coming down. Mm. This is what Yushikna mean. Let us see. Let us show you the hadith. Muhammad claiming, even there's other hadith saying that even this person, a child, he will not grow old before the judgment day happen. And here, this is the hadith about the Messiah. Muhammad, he swear by Allah, and this is very authentic, by him in whose hand is my life, the son of Mary, he will soon descend among you. He's speaking to whom? To the people in front of him, right? Yeah. Did Isa descend among them? Those people are dead. Fourteen hundred years ago, and there's no Isa. Muhammad, he make it clear. He cannot keep his mouth shut. That when the Messiah, he come down, he will abolish the jizya. There's no jizya from long time. Mm -hmm. Read it. So if yeah. this is will happen, should happen in the time when the Muslims are still in control and they are forcing the Christian to pay the jizya, which a theft from the Muslims, a gang like the mafia, protection money, pay or die. Jesus will abolish the jizya. That means this is, should happen before the jizya is already abolished. Nobody pays jizya. Who pays jizya in Saudi Arabia? Nobody. No Christian pages here, even in Pakistan. Nobody pages here, where? So Muhammad, he made it clear that the moon is split and the judgment day is near. And this is supposedly Allah speaking. And Muhammad now, he get message from Allah saying that the Messiah will come soon between you. You who? You who they are in front of him. Not you 10,000 years after. If he say, the Messiah will come one day, between the people, no, no, he says, between you, speaking to people, in the front of him. And he will be what? He will be the judge and he will be just. How Muhammad claimed that Messiah is just a, is just a prophet and he can be a just judge. Yeah, true. Only God is just. Can judge. I can be a judge, but I can be just. It's impossible. Yeah. But only the Messiah, he is a just judge. And look what Muhammad, he says. Is Muhammad just judge? No. Muhammad, he says, that any one of you, I curse him or I whip his back unjustly. I made a condition with Allah to make it as mercy for him. So Muhammad, he confirmed that even he is beating people unjustly. Look what he said, and this is authentic. Oh Allah, and look, look at the title here. Chapter, whenever is cursed, revealed or prayed against by the prophet, when he does not deserve that. So what Muhammad did, Muhammad, he is cursing people when they don't deserve. Muhammad, he whipped the back of people when they don't deserve. Muhammad, he beat people when they don't deserve. And Muhammad claiming that he made that condition on Allah, that anyone I curse him or I beat him unjustly, make it mercy for him, how that can work. 
So here we notice that the Messiah in Islam suddenly he is the only judge and he is the only just. And this is will be happening in the judgment day. Muhammad in his time, the one supposedly the Muslim they claim he is guided by Allah. And he is the best of mankind. He is beating his people, cursing, invoking curse, saying filthy language, whipping their back unjustly. Does it say unjustly or I'm making things up? Here we go. Do you see it? The hand? Yeah. So everything the Muslim they say, it is the opposite. It is about their prophet. So the Messiah, if you go, when, when we talk about the Messiah, he know the day of judgment or not. You will, How come the Messiah they don't say? They, they don't see. Uh, like in verse number 21, there, there will be interpolation such as was not since the beginning of the world in this in, in this time. If we go there, you will see the Messiah giving a lot of signs of days of judgment, which nobody knows. And then Muhammad, he tried to copy it. He put it in the Quran. So what the Messiah is speaking yeah. of, all of this is what the Messiah, he is telling us what will happen. Yeah. So from the signs of the day of judgment, the Messiah speak of, but the day of judgment is in the hand of the Father to announce it only. Why? Because simply, when the whole world is corrupt, that is the job of the Father to do that. It's not my job. It's not, it's not for me. It's for me to be the judge. And then what will happen? After all those signs happen, which the Messiah, he count for us, which the, the Muslim, they try to ignore. Then the Messiah, then he shall send his angels with the great sound of trumpet and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of fig tree. And he continues speaking. So the, the, the Muslim, they don't mention that, you know. So then when, when they go to, to say, okay, but of that day and the hour knows no man, no, not the angels of the heaven, but my father only. How come the Muslim, they don't see the rest? And how come they did not notice that he just said, my father only? Yeah. Who? My father. So even this one confirmed that Jesus is a son and the father is the only one who will announce it. He's the only one who will, who will tell about it. So they did read this one, but did not read that Jesus said, my father. So they believe in this one now? If they believe that means Jesus here is right, you know, this is saying the truth that Jesus is a son of God. <laughs> yeah. And then he continue, he's giving you all the signs and his all the explanation. And look what it says here. Therefore, be you also ready for such an hour as you think not the son of the of man cometh. Uh, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who is the Lord has made ruler over the household to give the need uh, a due season. And then he continued here saying, I mean, the whole chapter is really amazing, but the Muslim, they are trying to find a reason to believe or to make you believe that Jesus cannot be God. So Jesus cannot be God when he made the blind see. Jesus cannot be God when he is a son of virgin. Jesus cannot be God because now he is in heaven alive. But Jesus cannot be God because he does not know the judgment day. All those things we just mentioned, to be alive, over every human die in Islam every human die the Quran says uh, uh, Muhammad is a messenger between messengers who all of them they pass away yeah is, is the Messiah a messenger for How? them yeah but for us no 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 I mean if he is a messenger the Quran says that all messengers before Muhammad, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they died. Yeah, yeah. And the Quran so, says, if this is a book, have contradiction, cannot be from God. Yeah, true. Hmm. 
So how the all the messengers before the Messiah died and the Messiah is still alive? Are we talking yeah, about the same religion? This is a contradiction. Yeah, this there's so many contradictions in the Quran, like very stupid. Like you mentioned about the 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 star and the creation day. Even Allah cannot remember which one he made first. Let, let me show you something very funny. In yeah. chapter three, it says Yeah. Muhammad not, but a messenger. Messenger have passed away before him. This is false, by the way. It says all the messengers pass away before him. Why, if he die or slain? What kind of God you do not know if Muhammad will die or slain? Why he's saying if he die or slain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know why? Because there's no third option. <laughs> yeah. So I am God, and they, I say to you, I'm going to tell you a prophecy about what how I will die. I will say, okay, if Muhammad he says, if this verse says, if he was a slain, you leave Islam. Well, and then Muhammad he was a slain. That will be okay. God he said, Muhammad will be killed. Oh, look, it happened. But now this God, because he didn't know Muhammad, he did not know how he will die. He have many enemies, they might kill him. But he might die still ah. normally. So he added two options because he himself did not know how he will die. Yeah. But we will see the Messiah, yeah. he knew how he will die. The Messiah, he yeah. told them what they will say even when the Roman, they come to capture him, right? He told them when, right, right. he told them what they will say. They told them how will yeah, they yeah. will deny him. So the Messiah, he knew Muhammad do not know and his God do not know how Muhammad will die. It's like yeah. you come to me and you say to me, hey, CP, are you a prophet? Sure, sure. My name is an Arabian prophet. He say, my wife, she is going to deliver a child. He's going to be a girl or a boy. I say to you, let me prophesy to you. I speak to Allah. And then I say, Allah, he just told me that your wife, she might deliver a boy or a girl. Eww, that's deep. There's, is there a third option? <laughs> you come to me and you say, Christian Prince, can you ask your God, Allah, to uh, uh, the moon God, to, uh, to tell me how I will die? Okay, listen, I think I, God, he just told me that you might die by car accident or by cancer or by your wife beating you with the, with the, fry mission, with the fryer, uh, uh, potato fryer, uh, or by uh, 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 airplane crash or uh, by uh, uh, falling from the roof or you know, this is not a prophecy. Yeah, what kind of God? He do not know how he's a prophet. He was going to die. Other prophecy, all of those pro provide us with very important thing that Muhammad did not know. Like Muhammad in chapter of Al-Kafirun, he said that I will not worship what you worship and you will not worship what I worship. So you will not worship what I worship and I will not do worship what you worship because you don't have worship what I worship and you have the religion I have mine. Later, all of them, they became Muslims. He just told them, I will not worship what you worship. And then, and you will not worship what I worship. And then all of them, they worship what he worship. In fact, he worship what they worship. Man, what the fuck? No, don't use bad language. So chapter 109, chapter 109, be careful. Don't use bad language. You know, try not never to use this language. This is doesn't make does it, this is does not make you a smart person doesn't make you a good Christian it doesn't make you a valid person in society stay away from this language you can say like what the heck there's many words to avoid saying such a stupid thing so the chapter of a kafirun proving to us that this is gonna be from God why because if Allah he knew the future don't he knew that they will worship him at the end mm. Don't he knew that Muhammad later he will recite the satanic verses and he will be down, he will be born down to the three daughters of Allah? So how he will not worship what I worship and Muhammad now worshiping what they worship and later they worship what he worship. So again, this is a false prophecy from a false god. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, just one more. All right. So I'm from Malaysia. Okay. So. My, in the Bible, in our Malaysian and Indonesian Bible, they use the word Allah. The they use the word Allah. Yeah, about that. That's false translation. 
avoid it. So, you can use the Lord, you can use Elohim, you can use uh, you can all use any word uh, use as a word for God in the Bible, but don't never use the word Allah. Never pray for Allah. Allah is Allah is not even a, a word. Uh, it's two words. It is A L, which means God, and La. It's the name of the God. La is the moon God. So why a Christian? This is all is a false, you know, if you have, you know, I will tell you how to fix this. You can download this translation and select the word Allah in Microsoft Word and replace it with the word Elohim in everywhere or whatever equal language in your language with the word Lord or God. Take the word Allah totally from your translation. It's a big fa false and it's absolutely a shameful act from any Christian to use the word Allah when he read the Bible. Yeah, so that's why I, I always like shock when I first hear you. Like you said, Allah is not in the Bible. Like, but we when I was still a child until now, I always see the word Allah. And when we pray, we also say Allah. I heard that in, in Malaysia, for, uh, uh, the, the court, the Muslim, they made a case. Yeah, yeah. They that made, Christians they should not use the word Allah, Allah correct? Okay, the, the the Muslim they told the truth. You should not use it. The reason the Muslim they don't want you to use it because they think that when you use the word Allah as a Christian trying to make somebody accept Christianity, Muslim they find it a lot easier to convert to Christianity because oh they believe in Allah anyway. But this is false. Okay, so I I just say the Lord or Father like that. Uh, yeah, they say that, no. There is like you can go. Let us say if you wanna if you wanna make an accurate translation, you can go to the Bible and search what is exactly the word is used there. Like uh, as an example, you know the, the Jews they use many words to avoid uh, uh, calling God any name. So they call him Hashem, Adonai. There is many Elohim. Uh, so you can, you know, you can use in your language a word which is equal to God. But don't use the word Allah. So you can download the Bible in your, in your, in your computer, search in Microsoft Word for the word Allah, and you click replace and choose a word in your language, which is a word mean God. Lord, God, you know. Okay, I understand. Yeah. And you know when the Muslim they uh, uh, like I I heard now that there's a new uh, uh, the order from the court that a Christian they can use the word Allah and I find it very funny and very stupid of the Christian there to fight to use such a word disgusting word they don't know what they are fighting for Malaysia court rules non Muslims cannot use the word, use Allah okay we should we, actually this is this is even better. I'm so happy. I wish all courts in Islamic countries where Christian are using stupid translation for the Bible using the word Allah, they would do the same. That would make me happy. We cannot find the yeah. word Allah in our Bible. Show me where we where this word is coming from. And we don't have the same God. Our God is a spirit. Their God is not even a spirit. So we don't have the same God. It's absolutely false translation. All right. Okay, so okay, I I will tell my Christian friends and family about this, so they will also know it. Yeah, you can download the Bible the same as you have in your language. Just replace the word Allah with the word Lord or God in your language and share it. Or again, publish it. Okay, I All understand. Right. And for before I go, all right. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hear I hear that you like sometimes coughing so please take care of your health and maybe i think like people did not really appreciate you because you are very very good debater like you're not like same same shaman and we don't want to talk I, mean, I, I don't are, like people to good. talk negative about other person there's no need for no, no, that no. okay i, I said they, they are very good but they don't know how they don't really know the technique to expose the abduls like that yeah. Because you are an Arab, so you can understand all the Qurans, so all the Muslims cannot fight you, like you don't know Arabic. 
Yeah, so but I, I will tell you, I'm, like... I'm drinking now chimer urine, and I think things is getting, getting better. I'm not coughing as before. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, he told me to drink chimer urine, and I bought a camel, you know, and uh, this camel is so uh, nice. Uh, he always piss a lot, and uh, I'm going to open a store uh, to sell camel urine. So if anyone have a, like a allergy or something, he cough, uh, please drink camel urine. Prophet Muhammad is the best doctor. That's why he died. And he could not heal himself because he is the good doctor. Yeah, yeah don't worry about my caffeine. Sometimes I have, you know, allergy. I cough uh, from any smell, anything, you know, if I dust, if uh, if I, uh, wow. you know, I, I am a single man. So you can like, okay, maybe my table is not perfectly clean from dust, I guess. So if, if I hit the table, that will make dust and that make me cough. So uh, don't worry about me. I'm not sick. I'm, I'm fine. All right. Okay. Uh and so before I um, I want to like verify like I'm not saying David Wood or Sam Shimon not good so I, I think people will misunderstand me I always watch their videos always watch everything like their debates but my point is you know the technique to expose the Abdul to corner them uh, like that, mm -hmm. I just, that only I God is good you. my brother only God is good God is good and only God is good none of us we yeah. are just doing what we can and only God is good. And we, if we do good, it's the good of God, not our good. Thank you very much for, for calling. Thank you, Christian. Please. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. Only God is good. You know, human being, when he's so proud about himself, that means he reached the point of foolishness. If there is something I can be proud about, that I have the Messiah. That's it. The rest is not really... To be proud about uh, you know like if you have let us say you have intelligence let us say you have a high IQ it's what God gave you you have a strong muscles it's what God gave you you have a beautiful face as God gave you whatever you have is God gift to you everything you have is a gift from God so how you can be proud about something you don't own and, uh, you know, the Bible warned us about foolishness. The foolishness of the man is when he thinks he is so wise and he knows. Uh, so we have to be careful always uh, from being proud. It's like, you know, the, it's like, you know, when had, there is a big tree, it's so tall and high. This is the one who is going to be taken by the hurricane. It's so proud. <laughs> 